Let's get right into it. Number 7. Harlequin Ichthyosis Imagine being born wearing armor, but instead of protecting you, it's trying to crush you. That's what happens with Harlequin Ichthyosis. This rare genetic condition makes babies come into the world covered in thick, hard plates of skin. Your skin grows about 14 times faster than normal. It forms thick, hard plates like medieval armor that crack and split apart, creating deep, painful fissures. The name comes from the diamond-shaped pattern the skin makes, resembling the costumes of Harlequin characters from old Italian theater. The armor plates are so rigid, they can actually pull your face into a permanent grimace. Your eyelids might get pulled so tight, they flip inside out. Breathing becomes a challenge when your chest is wrapped in a shell of hardened skin. The cracks between the plates are like open doors for infections. Babies born with this condition need immediate intensive care just to survive. Until recently, most didn't make it past their first few days, but modern medicine has made survival possible. Nellie Shaheen, the oldest survivor in the UK, is one of only 25 people in the entire country with this condition. Living with the condition means spending hours each day applying special creams and taking multiple baths just to keep the skin soft enough to move. It's essentially a full-time job managing your own skin. Number 6. Fatal Familial Insomnia Imagine never being able to sleep again, not just having trouble sleeping, but your brain literally forgetting how to fall asleep. This is fatal familial insomnia, and it's exactly as terrifying as it sounds. It starts small with a few nights of troubled sleep, but those few nights turn into weeks, and those weeks turn into months. Your brain is literally being eaten away by misfolded proteins that are destroying your thalamus, the part of your brain that controls sleep. It's like having your brain's sleep switch permanently stuck in the on position. You're not just tired, you're stuck in this weird twilight zone between being asleep and awake. Your body temperature goes crazy, your heart starts racing, and you start sweating like you're in a sauna. Your mind starts playing tricks on you. You can't remember simple things. Your movements become clumsy, like you're drunk all the time. But unlike being drunk, there's no sleeping it off. Sleeping pills don't work. Nothing works. If one of your parents has it, you have a 50% chance of getting it too. It's like a genetic time bomb waiting to go off. And once symptoms start, there's no cure. You're basically watching your brain slowly self-destruct while you're wide awake for the whole thing. Only a few hundred people in the world have ever had this disease. Number 5. Kuru Disease In a remote village in Papua New Guinea, neighbors started acting strange. First, they couldn't stop laughing for no reason. Then, they started shaking uncontrollably. Finally, they lost the ability to walk and talk. This is Kuru, also known as the Laughing Death. This disease came from eating human brains. The four people of Papua New Guinea had a tradition where family members would eat the brains of their deceased loved ones as a sign of respect. But sometimes, these brains contained something deadly, misfolded proteins called prions. These prions are like zombie proteins. When they get into your brain, they turn normal proteins into more zombies. Soon, your brain starts looking like Swiss cheese, full of holes. The disease starts with random laughing fits. Then your hands start shaking so bad you can't feed yourself. Next, you lose the ability to walk. Finally, you can't even swallow food. You're watching your brain slowly shut down while being fully aware of what's happening. The disease could hide in your body for up to 50 years before showing any symptoms. That means you could eat an infected brain today and not know you're sick until you're a grandparent. Once symptoms show up, there's nothing doctors can do. The disease disappeared when people stopped the brain-eating tradition, but it taught scientists something terrifying. Proteins can become infectious. This discovery helped explain other brain diseases like mad cow disease. Number 4. Stoneman Syndrome Imagine waking up one day and feeling a weird bump on your shoulder, but then that bump starts to harden into actual bone. Your muscle is literally turning into bone. This is Stoneman Syndrome, where your body builds a second skeleton inside you. Even the tiniest injury can trigger it. Bump your elbow and that spot might turn to bone. Fall down and those bruised muscles might decide to become your new bones. It usually starts at the neck and shoulders and works its way down. Your body plays a twisted game of connect the dots, but with bone. Over time, people become trapped in their own bodies, frozen in place by extra bones that shouldn't exist. There's no way to stop it. Surgery to remove the extra bone just makes it worse. The trauma from the surgery triggers more bone growth. Even getting a shot at the doctor's office can trigger a bone-growing episode. It's a random genetic mutation, like winning the worst lottery ever. It's so rare that only about 900 people worldwide have it. Number 3. Cotard's Delusion Imagine waking up tomorrow completely convinced that you're dead. Not in a metaphorical way, 
but actually believing you're a walking corpse. This is Cotard's delusion, also known as walking corpse syndrome. People with this condition are 100% certain they're dead, their organs are rotting, or they simply don't exist. They might stop eating because dead people don't need food. They might stop showering because corpses don't need to be clean. Some even try to visit their own graves. A 65-year-old teacher was absolutely convinced his heart wasn't beating anymore. He would put his hand on his chest, feel his heartbeat, and still insist it wasn't real. The man nearly starved himself to death because in his mind, why would a corpse need breakfast? Some people with cotards don't just think they're dead. They think they're immortal. They're so convinced they're dead that they think they can't die again. Scientists think it happens when the part of your brain that recognizes you as you goes haywire. It's like your brain's selfie camera stops working, and instead of seeing yourself, you see a walking corpse. These people often end up in the hospital because they stop taking care of themselves. After all, why shower if you're already dead? Number 2. Proteus Syndrome Imagine waking up one day and noticing parts of your body just decided to go rogue and start growing on their own. That's what Proteus Syndrome does. It makes random parts of your body grow completely out of control. It's named after Proteus, a Greek god who could change shape at will. The syndrome is so rare that fewer than one in a million people have it. The growth isn't even across your body. You might have one arm that's normal size while the other keeps growing until it's twice as big. One foot can be three sizes bigger than the other. Your skin might start growing in spiral patterns, like some kind of bizarre living art piece. Some people with this condition end up walking on their tiptoes because their feet won't stop growing. Doctors can't predict which parts will grow or when. Any tissue in your body could decide to join this growth party. These random growth spurts can mess with your organs too. Scientists still haven't figured out how to stop these growth spurts. People with Proteus Syndrome just have to deal with their bodies randomly deciding to supersize different parts. Number 1. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome You wake up one morning and suddenly your cat looks the size of an elephant. Your bedroom door now looks like it's a mile away. Then you look down at your hands and they're the size of dinner plates. This rare condition messes with how your brain processes what you see. One minute everything looks normal, the next minute your teacher's head looks bigger than a beach ball. It's like wearing funhouse mirrors as contact lenses, except you can't take them off. A kid in Australia named Josh couldn't even play chess because his fingers looked too wide to pick up the pieces. While riding in cars, he'd watch buildings swell up like balloons and then shrink back down. Some people with this condition carry mirrors around with them to check if they're actually turning into giants. The syndrome doesn't just mess with size. Time itself starts to warp. A five-minute walk might feel like it's taking hours, or an hour-long class might feel like it passed in seconds. This condition mostly affects kids and teenagers. It can be triggered by something as simple as catching mono, a migraine, or even taking cough medicine. Scientists still don't really understand why this happens. It's like someone's playing with the graphic settings in these people's brains. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.